Right, what's up everyone? Um, today I'm going to be showing you in this quick little tutorial how to make a dual monitor wallpaper. I'm going to blend in a picture right here, so you guys know what I mean. Uh, it's, it's going to be the same picture as in the thumbnail. Basically this tutorial is for Windows 10. Um, I will make, I will possibly make a Windows 7 tutorial at some point, but for now we're just going to go with Windows 10. Um, so to begin with I've put a couple of links in the description with uh, some websites where you can download dual monitor wallpapers. I picked this one on splash.com. They have some great uh, wallpapers here for you guys to use. Now, what you want to got what I want you guys to do is just uh, go and go ahead and pick one. I particularly like this one, so I'm just going to right click and uh, download this picture and put it into a folder called dual monitor wallpaper. This will be in your pictures folder or on your desktop, whatever, it doesn't really matter. But if you want a slideshow, you can put multiple wall wallpapers into one of these folders and then you can have a personalized slideshow folder. I'm just going to call this one Mountain Range. Save it down, doesn't matter if it's JPEG, just keep the setting here, whatever it is. Save it. And then you want to close your browser, just uh, navigate to the folder where you just saved it, which for me is in my pictures. Uh, dual monitor wallpaper right here. So this gonna um, so what you want to guys to do what you, what you guys want to do what you guys want to do is just r double click on the picture and then once it's open just right click and select set as set as background. Now before you guys have done everything it's gonna just uh, put it into one screen. It won't be dual monitor yet. So for the next step you guys are gonna right click on your desktop and click on personalize. And then you'll have an option here called choose a fit. Now, depending on what wallpaper you picked and depending on your monitors, you might have a different setting. But for me, span works the best for dual monitor wallpapers. Now if I do this, I'm going to blend in the picture again. It's going to look like this. As you can see, it's my right monitor took 50% of, of the picture and the other monitor took the other 50%. If your monitors are different sizes, it might not look as clean, but uh, the setting span usually works best. So yeah, when you, after that, you just want to close this, and uh, you're good to go. Uh, that's pretty much everything for this for this tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. I'll uh, I'll try to reply to them as quick as I can. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.